This year at the Hannover Messe, we will be welcoming experts from the fields of business, science and technology with a focus on digitalization in the Thought Leaders Forum. One of them is Swedish business speaker, thinker and author, best known for his best-selling book, Funky Business, Dr. Jonas Riddastrale. And we now have the chance to ask him a few questions beforehand. So Jonas, I'm going to jump right to the first question. Uh, digitalization, what does it mean for you and where do you see the biggest value? It sort of permeates your entire life, doesn't it? Uh, it's a bit like getting um, sand in your swimming trunks in the summer. Slightly annoying and impossible to get rid of. And you basically can no longer remember what life was like without digitization. And to me, I guess the greatest impact is that I can always reach people, whether it's for business purposes or, or personal purposes, like being here in Hong Kong. I can get hold of my kids. 20 years ago, that was incredibly expensive and very, very difficult. Unfortunately, people can always uh, also get a hold of you. So why should companies invest in digitalization? Because if you don't, if you fail in the infrastructure department, you're going to look like a 65-year-old trying to win the Olympic marathon wearing an evening gown and high heel shoes. You will be out of business. So what do you think is essential to stay competitive also in the future? I would say three things for just about any organization in any industry. People, people, and people. It's like when you get married. If you fail in the recruitment process, uh, no amount of family therapy will help. The same is true if you look at the modern business organization. Fail in recruitment and not all the IT in the world, not all the big data in the world, not all the strategy consultants in the world can save you. So can you tell us what are the biggest trends in digitalization and which ones have the potential to actually become a standard? Two trends. Number one, blockchains and how this decentralized technology is radically reshaping increasingly decentralized industrial structures and threatening, of course, many of the existing companies that were born and raised and developed in a world very, very different from the one of today. The second trend is the impact that IT has on knowledge growth. And you see, right now, knowledge is growing at a societal level at an exponential rate. But at the individual level, knowledge grows only at a linear rate. So in effect, we are all becoming increasingly stupid as individuals relatively speaking, but still, and that is already a standard. Jonas, thank you very much for these insights and thank you for your time. I'm looking forward on seeing you at the Hannover Messe. And I don't know about you, but this got me really interested and I hope to see you also in the Thought Leaders Forum. Until then, take good care.